Well, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, it's, uh, I'm in a different room today. I'm, I'm training for the Air Force while at home. How's that for excitement? Well, it is day 163 of Church in the Time of Quarantine. It is uh, August 27th. Um, what well, happened on this day? 1883, the largest explosion ever recorded on Earth happened when Krakatoa blew. Uh, 13,000 times more powerful than the uh, atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. It uh, killed 40,000 people, so it was not a uh, cheerful event, but uh, yeah, the eruption of Krakatoa, 1883, and if you're ever asked what was the most powerful explosion ever recorded, there you go. Uh, 1896, Britain uh, defeated Zanzibar in the 38-minute war, which uh, I guess is the shortest war ever recorded. I don't know who had the stopwatch out to record it, but uh, yeah, 38 minutes, Britain over Zanzibar. And uh, 1908, hey, hey, LBJ, uh, how many kids did you kill today? Lyndon Baines Johnson, uh, he, was, uh, he was born on this day. No real announcements today. Um, get to uh, trivia. So uh, yesterday we had the question of, uh, in 1959, the British Motor Company introduced what car uh, that's still with us today, but uh, is now owned by the Bayerische Motorwerke, BMW. Uh, that car is the Mini, and we had uh, well, we had five correct answers. Eric Bay, my dad, Bramwell Richards, Steve Jones, and John Choran all got that one correctly. I don't know if it, they cheated both Steve and John. Have many or had many? Is John still? Anyway, uh, but uh, good job to you. Okay, another uh, on this day question. So on this day, August 27th, 1964, Disney premiered this movie, which was based on the uh, books by P.L. Travers. So who was the, uh, what's the book or what's the movie uh, that was uh, released on this day in 1964? Got that? Send it on in to me. Okay, well, we got a little reflection today. This one comes from uh, Francois Finlon, and uh, it says this. Oh God, we don't know who you are. The light shines in the darkness, but we don't see it. Universal light. It is only because of you that we can see anything at all. Sun of the soul, you shine more brightly than the sun in the sky. You rule over everything. All I see is you. Everything else vanishes like a shadow. The one who has never seen you has seen nothing. That person lives a make-believe life, lives a dream. But I always find you within me. You work through me in all the good I accomplish. How many times I was unable to check my emotions, resist my habits, subdue my pride, follow my reason, or stick to my plan. Without you, I am a reed swayed by the wind. You give me courage and everything decent which I experience. You have given me a new heart that wants nothing except what you want. I am in your hands. It is enough for me to do what you want me to do. For this purpose, I was created. All right, well, let's end, uh, end with a short prayer. We have uh, one that, uh, if I can find it, yes, one uh, from Lent, because it kind of seems like we're in perpetual Lent right now, but uh, let us pray. Almighty God, you alone can bring into order the unruly wills and affections of sinners. Grant your people grace to love what you command and desire what you promise, that among the swift and varied changes of the world, our hearts may surely there be fixed, where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, have a uh, wonderful day, and uh, talk to you soon.